Hi, I'm Kara Bush. I'm from Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm the Associate Leader of Learning at Ormiston Primary School. Hi, my name's Kara Bush. I'm one of two Assistant Leaders of Learning at Ormiston Primary School, which is a brand new school in Flatbush in Auckland. We opened it nine weeks ago, and it's still open. Um, this is just a bit of a background to how I changed my reading and literacy theories, pedagogy and practice. It all started at an EduCamp in Christchurch where I met a girl by the name of Stephanie Thompson. She tweets as train the teacher. She's really good, worthwhile to follow. We had some discussion around reading pedagogy and then at an Auckland EduCamp I met up with Amanda Signal who tweets as Hey Millie, another good person to follow, and we sort of talked around the ideas of Daily Five which is something I had been investigating. Um, one of the precursors to actually getting started with it was reading the book by Donna Lynn Miller called The Book Whisperer. I think every educator should have to read that if you're teaching reading and writing. I trialled the Daily well, to Make it clear, the Daily Five is a management system. Donalyn Miller provided the understanding and the pedagogy. I trialled it um, Daily Five using total reader choice, so I had no levelled books, no groups. Every child was reading what they wanted to read. I trialled that for two years over four different um, class levels, and they all really took to it. And I used the Daily Five as the tracking and the management system to ensure that I had a complete literacy programme. Some of the challenges came from my senior leadership team at the time was how can you teach a group who aren't all reading the same book and my answer to that is it's not about the books, it's about the skill. You can teach inferencing over a whole pile of different books, it doesn't have to be everybody reading the same. So one of the things I did that was the biggest influence on my practice was I stopped giving levelled books and went totally with uh, reader choice. This is because bookshops, libraries and grandma's bookshelf are not levelled and the children if they you give them the range, they will step up and they'll read. My outcomes were having happy learners who confidently could choose their own reading material. We had to do a lot of teaching. Uh, it's in the Daily Five book. If you go online, you'll be able to find it about how to choose best fit books. I also got rid of all my reading resource packs and whole class net novels. So what I do instead now is I choose a selection of quality literature and just read a part of it, maybe a couple of pages or a chapter, and then the children that want to take on that book and keep reading it, choose it. Mm. Anecdotally, parents noted that the children were choosing to read in their downtime, and the first thing whenever I meet any of the children from these classes outside of school is they rush to tell me what book they're currently reading. Um, reading stamina went through the roof when I started this program. They had two minutes at the beginning of the year. By the time we'd finished, it was well over an hour. And um, my message to teachers is to get rid of the reading arts and crafts. Pinterest is not pedagogy, and let the children read. I've included a couple of links there for you on Donalyn Miller and from the two sisters who started the Daily Five, and I've also linked in my You Learn Prezi from last year.